Hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Ow! Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you can get the notifications, hit those likes, and I appreciate if you share. I thank you so much for joining me today. Today's the love reading. I hope you guys called the general reading that I did on Tuesday, which was yesterday, and um also I the Moonology cards also came out also, which is the um what's coming up for 2024. So if you guys want to check that one out, okay, I appreciate it. And um leave me a message if you would like, you know, if it um got to you. Okay, like I was saying. Um, if you're joining me from TikTok, I appreciate it. It's Queen Wolf Tarot. Um, feel free to join me there. Um, so then after this, it was going to be the um, work and money and the person on your mind, okay? I'm also going to do another deck. Um, I'll let you know which one. Well, when I pull it out, um, I'm, I'm going to see probably see the, the do the witches. I'm sorry. Do the witches or do the love readings from the big cards. I have this deck as the, the big cards for the love readings. Um, I believe it's called a true love reading, so maybe I'll do that. So one of those is gonna, gonna be pulled out this week. Um, so I, again, like the moonology, so it could um, be for what's coming up for 2024. Okay, so just stay tuned for that one. <sighs> I'll try to get that out quick, and I don't know. I, I think I messed up, but anyway. All right, so let's clear the negative energy around us. I'm a little hyper today. I don't know why, but. Well, I was doing that. I don't know why I came to my mind. Like, um, I feel like I'm in a hurry. Like, someone here, is, I feel someone's in a hurry. Or, or you know that the person you with, that's someone that's in a hurry all the time. They're in a hurry. That's what I keep hearing, in a hurry. Or something is in a hurry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm bugged out. All right. So, you clear the negative energy. Um, you know, since we always use the um, black tourmaline, when I do my regular cards, I'm using the sexual cards again. And I always have the rose quartz on it. Which I always say that this is the best one for when it comes to the heart chakras. Okay, so I always have this big one, the moon here for um, the sexual cards. We're going to follow it up with the romance cards. We also have um, a smaller one, uh, rose corks. And then we're going to finish it off with the lover's oracle cards, which has a actual clear corks. Alright, so we're going to ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect the space. I ask that you ensure only trustworthy answers come from the divine through these cards. I ask that you let me see, hear, feel, and know the messages you have for my wolf pack. And I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. Ooh, I got calm real quick all of a sudden. Okay. I was real, real excited all of a sudden, and now I'm calm. Weird. Okay, let's see what messages you have for my wolf pack this week. Thank you. What messages you have here for my wolf pack? Please and thank you. Whoa, that one was fast. Where have this one? Okay. What messages you have here for my wolf pack? Please and thank you. What message? That's the second one. The message. Oh, the third one. Okay. Go here with the bottom energy. Ooh, the bottom energy is a new start. Also, I see someone getting pregnant. Someone getting someone pregnant or someone getting pregnant. Um, mm, careful. Yeah, because the devil caught it right under it. So what I see is mostly, you know, like there's gonna be a lot of passion and a lot of things. It's mostly about lust for somebody. I don't know. It's not for everybody, but for this. I don't know if it's a few, in a few days or, but this time around, maybe for the holidays, because I see, you know, these cards are red, so, and I see a lot of passion there, like, there's going to be a hookup that's going to be a hookup, you understand, like, for a little while, maybe, or somebody feeding you, I don't know, I just pick up some, for whoever that is, okay, so for anybody else, this is just a new beginning, because this also represents... The number one is an ace, and the ace of wands is a uh, rebirth, a new beginning. It could be in, in, the really, in, in a relationship. In case you don't have someone, that you're alone right now, the, this is a new start for you. This is a rebirth, okay? A new start for you. That's another story. And then the high priestess is, you know, again, starting over, I just feel, because um, you see her here with a book, so maybe learning, 
you've learned a lot about yourself and learn a lot about the things that you are going to accept or not accept right um the things you will tolerate with you have scissors there in the hand so you're quick to cut off somebody and step on this because the, the, she's stepping here on the cat it's playful of course but it's not um but it just shows that yes i could be playful but i'm not gonna be messed with so if this is what you're feeling now whoever this is male or female remember um this right now just it just feels that way like you're a new rebirth of yourself like you're gonna start over you're gonna start you know you are gonna be going out there dating there is somebody coming but you're taking care of yourself okay there we go oh boy are you taking care of yourself look at that for whoever this is look at the empress you got the high priestess then the empress but look at the empress how she is here here she's you see how she is she's like oh i'm nice i'm sweet you know um i'm writing this you know I'm, I'm okay i'm just you know i got scissors here but don't mess with me when i come to this okay she has a sword in her hand she has the the shell two shells this is the shell here and then she has a, uh, a shield so she's guarded so whoever this is you he she remember we always say that this is not gender um whoever this is about you're guarded Okay, you're guarded because I, if you, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big, huge snake behind her, like lurking in the back. So maybe now is that you've already, um, you've already, you already overcame that. You either shed skin and, and got your toughness, or um, this is you, you was able to, you know, control that. And then mind you, these two are back to back because you see that's number two, that's not number three. So look, one, two, three, boom okay and then we have are you kidding me the emperor look at the satisfaction and the number four one two three four never has ever ever happened i've never gotten them like this at once in any reading this is the first time Ooh, that got me goosebumps. And again, like I said, is somebody here? I believe this is love for you, the, the power you're getting for yourself again. I don't know why I said again, but maybe somebody lost it along the way, or maybe somebody had felt vulnerable before because somebody did, you know, fool someone. But here now, you're rewriting your story. You're gonna get that tough. You're tough. You're you're. You know, you get starting to look good too, because you know sometimes we let go of ourselves because, you know, in a sense that um, we take care of everybody else, and then you know we forget about us, and then now here you go like um, it's my turn. So I'm just saying. All right. So, and then here now, if you are getting together with someone, right, and um, is an ending here for whatever else that is, and um this could be the both of you like the, the the empress and the emperor together in a satisfactory you know satisfaction um guaranteed type of relationship right okay so let's see let's continue because i you know the cards always give you different stories so i was rambling a lot here we go the high priestess why is the high priestess here please and thank you okay and got the king just look at all these high cards like i'm telling you and then he's embracing the queen and then she's embracing him so it's like bearing each other like you see how they're both naked which means is that like they've shown the true selves now like you both of you are showing your true selves or this could be you again but if you're alone i could just say this is also um you balancing yourself out right you bringing balance to you like the the feminine side and the male and the, the masculine side like bringing it you know in control how about that because probably someone here has been very sensitive lately or very emotional lately and now you're trying to get your power back oh look at this one the moon and look how it shows the balance again to on each side like showing balance you see how they're embracing that one is cheering and the moon also means revealing things revealing secrets revealing um you know the um, announcing something by like speaking up i'm just saying Okay, the emperor, please and thank you. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Please and thank you. Why is the emperor in this deck? Okay, here we go again with embrace. 
embrace them. And this is the knave of wands, which is still up there. This is the, only, the least card that you got because you got a major, a couple of major arcana, or a couple of more than a couple major arcanas, and a king and a knave. So you got really high cards, but this one is mostly like someone finally feeling, did not say satisfaction guaranteed, okay? You see how she feels, she f how free she feels there, like embracing it, like, oh, you know, this is what we've been waiting for, or I've been waiting for, right? Or again, a balance with yourself, like letting go of your feminine side or the emotional side, which is, you know, and then embracing, you know, have feeling balanced with yourself. We get one last line. One last message, please and thank you. Ooh. And here is another one with balance. The lover's card. Okay, again, this is more about falling in love uh, more now or in love, right? Announcing to a loved one, to the loved one, or it could mean getting new love or love for yourself. Again, like I said, this is a balance of love for yourself. Okay, last but not least, let's see the last messages, please and thank you. Okay, and you got the chalice of nine. This one shows more of, um, how can I say, like, the person not wanting to let go, right? So there's one person, a person here is not letting go of the feminine side, which is the emotionals that they have, that, you know, um, which I've, I'm, I'm seeing it that way. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but, um, or it could mean like that someone here is too shy or too bashful, all right? Too shy and really wanting to show your true self. That could be it also. So maybe you're doing that with the relationship and that's why the moon card is here and it's telling you to, you know, open yourself up more. Here you're clenched in and you're not you're letting nothing in or maybe letting nothing out. So that could be it also with that. Okay, one last message. Please and thank you. One last message. And then we're going to go with the romance cards. Okay, this one turned around. Okay, and this is the hermit. So someone here, like I said, this is for yourself. This is taking care of yourself. Um, you know, if you did your, your your thoughts about that person that you was in bed with, my bad said earlier that could be the bad thing and be careful with that. But whoever don't want to get pregnant here, whoever doesn't want to get someone pregnant. Um, but this is and the fire is out. So maybe that part of it is like the what's coming out, the announcement and the but this also can mean like I said before, the balance for yourself. The hermit usually means it's for you to be alone, you know, stop thing, contemplate, ignite that passion again. For maybe yourself right so you go go on dates or go on with your alone um except people come in to your life or it could mean um you know spark, sparking the light of, of i'm good like i'm good with myself i'm balanced out i'm doing everything you know i'm going on dates and i'm doing me that's it plain and simple look the hand man look i'm doing me okay i am doing me Alright, so here you go. So, but I see here mostly like if you let us, if you open up a little more and you let someone in, there will be a lot of play. There's going to be a lot of play. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of time for you to have fun. How about that? Alright, here we go. But at the end, I'm going to be honest, if this is someone that's in a relationship just to have fun, at the end, just know that that's, you're going to end up alone. And at, at the end also, if that's what you want or you don't want this relationship, you know, someone is going to end up alone. It also means the hermit. But I just see it as you know, at the end, is learning to love yourself here. Oh my gosh. I can't express that too much here. Here we go. I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is. So be it. The last messages for this reading, please and thank you. No messages for this reading. Or extended messages, you know passion didn't i just say that passion <laughs> allow your heart and soul to sing with the joy hello whoa okay there we go one last message i mean last messages for this reading please one of the messages for this reading no fall on the floor excuse me let me just get it real quick because it's away on the side sorry for the real quick but i'm gonna pick it up because i saw it and it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, last but not least, please and thank you. One last message you have here for my workout. One last 
message, please, and thank you for the reading. Oh, 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 that one hit me. Almost hit me in my, in my chest. New love, what did I say? For you to ignite that, this is either the, again, the whatever you're now seeing in this new new love could mean the uh, step up from the love you're in now. And we're going to step up, like I said, with the announcement. Or this could mean, again, new love coming in for you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hello. So let's see. What is the um, advice? Please and thank you. Oh. <laughs> Soulmates. I'm done. So yes, this is your soulmate. So whoever, again, whoever comes in, in your life, let's see if that's the one that has to match your energy, has to match your belief, has to match at least, you know, most of it. Not, you know, they have their own beliefs, of course, but I'm saying it has to have, look, their own beliefs. I'm done. Religious factors. I am done with this. <laughs> I am done with this. But um, it could mean also, you know, like a soulmate as far as it could mean friendship. You know, you can start as good as friends. And if you find out that that's a good good friend, guess what? Then it could be a good partner. All right? I don't know. I just saw that. All right? What is the outcome? That's the advice. But what is the outcome? What is the outcome for this reading? Please and thank you. What is the outcome for this reading? Please and thank you. Trust. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay? bottom energy is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life didn't i say either way it's either for this love to trust for the love that's coming or the love that you have right or this is for yourself didn't i say all that rewind okay all right here we go now let's get the lovers oracle oh, let's see what last messages they have let's see what last messages please and thank you what last messages please and thank you that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved so it is so be it what last messages please and thank you what last messages for this reading please and thank you what last messages for this reading please and thank you one actually i grabbed it because it fell in my hand so i'm gonna put it right there and then the bottom menu you got acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control Boom. trust <laughs> look inside yourself i'm done examine what is causing you to feel this way then you have Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And last but not least, sexual union. I'm done. I said that at the beginning. Again, rewind. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Oof loving that but hey if this resonates with you, you take it with you you put it in your pocket if it doesn't you leave it behind for someone else to fill their pockets take care now love and light Ow! bye bye